Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to our channel once again. So, today's video request is how to make a video as background in Canva. So, with no further ado, let's get started. Okay, we're going to go to the upload section to be able to access our videos, the videos we uploaded to Canva. So, we're going to go to videos. By the way, in case you haven't uploaded your videos yet, then click on the Upload Files button. Navigate to the location of your file and import it to Canva. And once you do that, it'll show up over here. So say for example, this is the video that you'd like to use. If you want to set it as background, there are two things you can do. You can right click on your video and then click on set video as background from the drop down. And there, as easy as that. If you also would like to do it the other way, you can just simply position your um, video and then drag the corner until the page is filled. And if you'd like, you can keep going. You can adjust it if you'd like to zoom in more. So yeah, that's how you create or that's how you um, set a video as a background. Very easy. And apart from that, let me also show you some other things that you can do within Canva's video editor. So apart from that, you can also adjust the duration of your video by clicking on this button. So once you click on this, um, you can find numbers here that corresponds to how many seconds or minutes your video file is or your video clip is. So you're going to click that and it'll prompt the toolbar to appear over here. And on the toolbar above, you have the option to pause your video, to trim your video as well. So to trim it, you can do it in two ways. You can input numbers here depending on how long your, you'd like your video to be, say for example, five seconds. And if you click on five seconds, the first five seconds of that video clip will be included and the rest will be cut off. If you'd like to use the, uh, these sliders over here, you can adjust the video's duration by dragging it. And the uh, clips that are inside these purple boxes, they won't be deleted. But those that are outside of it will be removed. So once you're done, click on done. And there. Apart from that, you can also edit your videos. So click on your video, go to edit video over here, and you can add some effects to it. So there are many filters for you to choose from. Feel free to choose anything you like if you think it's necessary for you to use a filter. And then let's go back. You can also use the background remover tool. In case you want to remove the background of your video, and you can use this tool to do that. As for me, I'm not going to use it because it does require a lot of power from your PC to be able to do those things. Otherwise, your PC would crash and Canva would crash. So, yep. As for adjust, let's see. Yeah, here on the adjust button, you'll be able to manually tweak your um, video's warmth, tint, light, such as brightness, contrast, highlights, shadows, and fade. You can also adjust its color, vibrant, saturation, X process, X process, and for the texture, you can adjust its vignet. So, yeah. Let's go back, and if you ever want to add an audio file to your video, then you're going to have to upload your audio file first. So go to uploads again and audio. And in case you have not uploaded your audio file, then upload it first by clicking this button. Once again, navigate to the location of your audio file and then import it to Canva. It will load up over here. And once it's done loading up, then you can drag it onto your design and it'll be added over here. Now, if you hover over your audio file, 
you will have the option to edit it. Let's give it a try. Okay. So I'm going to click on this button right here, the one that looks like three dots next to each other. And when we click on that, we'll be able to see all these other tools that we can use to edit our video. So you can adjust your video or trim it. You can add audio effects to it as well if you want to. You can also adjust the volume, split the audio, duplicate the track, and delete the track. So feel free to use all of these tools. Okay, say for example, you want to add another page to your design. Oops, see, I think I have this blank page over here. Let me just delete that. Okay, now if you want to add another page, just click on this button, add page. And there it is. Oh, okay, I think that was the page I added earlier, the one that we deleted. But it's okay, we have this new one. So we're going to go to videos again and insert another video over here. Set it as background and trim its duration. Maybe about three seconds would be okay. Okay, and if we hover in between the pages, just like this, you'll see these two buttons. You can either add a page or add a transition. So let's try to add a transition to our video. And here are a couple of transitions that you can use. Let me show you all of these one by one. So this is dissolve. Next is slide, circle, color wipe, line wipe, Match and move. Flow. Flow works really well if videos have text elements on them, and we're going to talk about that later. Next, we have stack and chop. Okay, now let's add some elements to our videos. Say, for example, um, this bird over here. This will be our first video, <laughs> so we're going to add a text. You can go to text on a side panel, or you can just press T on your keyboard if you want to. And then we're going to type in here, for example, Natural Wonders. Just a very generic title. Let's try to adjust its letter spacing to make it look well, a bit fancier somehow. And we're going to add effects to it to make it stand out more so that we can see it easily. But you're in charge of doing whatever you want to do with your design, <laughs> okay? And we're going to add an element over here. Let's give it a try. Okay, how about this one? Um, say, for example, this is like a bird sound coming from over here and this bird heard it. That's why it tilted its head. So let's give it a try. Um, just to show you that you can actually add elements while editing videos. So yep, yeah, we're gonna add animated effects to these two elements that we have. Let's do the text first and go to animate. And choose animations that you'd like to use. Okay, perhaps this one would do. And we're going to have this one also animated. What about pop? Okay, perhaps pop is okay. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, that's how you edit videos in Canva. So I guess that's it for now. Yeah. We hope you found today's video of help somehow, and we thank you so much for watching. We hope you have a great day.